Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lasius K and welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right. Today is going to be quite exciting because we're going to be talking about this guy here. We're going to be unboxing some cool accessories. Why do we keep buying these things? Honestly, well, simply because we want to be immersed as much as possible without having to think about what's around us or cables or anything distracting us whilst we're in virtual reality. It's really that simple. All right, without further ado, let's roll the intro. Let's go. Welcome back. Remember to like and subscribe so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Whew, because that is what it's all about. All right, without further ado, let's start to unwrap this guy. Oh, well, I guess it's inside this box then. Let's see what's inside of this box. Oh, we have the SpectraShare VR earbuds. Very exciting. So the whole point of having these kind of headphones is because normally when you use normal headphones, uh, as you can probably see by a lot of people who are uh, doing VR different type of VR videos is that first of all the cable is really long so what a lot of people do is um, they will maybe put it on the head or they'll try to put it behind or they'll try to put it inside the shirt um, sorry if uh, the mic has some disturbances but when you're playing games you know when you're playing the Oculus Quest especially it's very much a game intensive headset and a lot of the games that you're playing of course are very active so you're moving your hands a lot uh, so having this wire dangling or being inside it's it's just not practical whatsoever but uh, when we're looking at practicality you know here it comes spectra of course there's also the oculus branded uh, earbuds so as you can tell they are much shorter so what happens is you put one in one ear and then the other in the other ear at the moment I just have my guardian on and then they will fit right here so as you can see the cable is very short and is there I don't have to worry about having cables all over around me put on my head it's just it's just it's just another thing that really helps me to feel immersed in a really cool way. How can I put it? All right, moving forward, I'm going to give you my first impressions about these earbuds. What I think, what I don't think, the good and the bad, and the very ugly and the very awesome coming up. So the first thing that I feel when I wear these Spectra earbuds is they're extremely soft when I put them in. They don't feel hard uh, compared to my usual headbuds, which are quite comfortable, but they actually feel more comfortable than my everyday earbuds. So, good one on that. Comment below if you bought these and if you had any issues or what you thought about them or if you think this is just a great idea and you're looking forward to having more manufacturers coming out with more of these things so we make it a bit more interesting. Um, I have been playing around with these things and I have to admit that first thing you must do is make sure that your right, the right one is in the right and the left one is in the left, okay? Because otherwise it will create some, <laughs> some issues uh, with the bass and the treble as it, I think they split them. I'm not a technical guy, but I, I have a feeling that they split the bass and the treble. Perhaps Oculus did that, not these people. I'm not quite sure. Um, but when you put it right and right and left and in the left, it really actually has a not too bad of a sound. I wouldn't say great. Mm, I can't say it's a great sound. I, it definitely has some issues with the higher pitch, the treble, and also the, the gains. Um, but you can definitely go more than halfway, all the way to the max. I was playing the, um, the dancing game, and you know, it's a very, it's got so many different songs, and I was listening to a lot of the different songs, maybe 20 or 30 different songs, trying to test it out. Um, being a musician and an editor who 
listens to a lot of things and has a very sensitive ears. It makes me, uh, I don't know whether I want to wear these because it will affect maybe my hearing in terms of the quality of the things I hear. But I will definitely give these a go for the next two, three weeks, um, you know, because the build quality is quite good. So good point there. The customer service, very good there. Really enjoyed that. Um, and the sound is okay. I mean, compared to very high end, uh, I would say earbuds, no, it, it doesn't go there. But in terms of a beginner or intermediate kind of earbuds, if you just want something to uh, help you out, you know, to, to, to have some somewhat good music or good sound in your ears without having the cables everywhere, then I think this is very interesting. Uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to testing out the Oculus ones because I'm in China at the moment. So I'm doing a lot of content here and I haven't been able to receive the Oculus uh, branded earbuds uh, because these will be sent to my home in Singapore where I'll be back in about one month's time. So do be patient. Uh, maybe I'll post this later in August, around September, so that you can compare the Oculus together uh, within a few days uh, of time. But I will test these out for the next two, three weeks and see whether the durability is good. Uh, I didn't just test it with one Oculus, uh, I tested it with um, two devices, two Oculuses. Um, and because I'm here to create some content and to get more people into VR in Asia, especially doing some cool documentaries which will feature in the uh, VR Essentials channel. So do hit that subscribe and notification bell so you get notified when I do upload these probably around October. Um, so yeah, uh, the packaging, I'm sorry, is crap. Uh, it doesn't make me feel confident that the product is very good. I don't know whether these are going to last because of the packaging. Uh, flimsy plastic that rips very easily. It came, it was already ripped half. Um, you know, so I'm not confident about that. But the build quality is good, so mm, we'll see. In terms of right now, uh, would I buy these? I can't tell you, but because it's only 20 plus or 30 dollars, I can't remember, but it's very low, it's not very high. Yeah, I would, to save me some time, but um, compared, to my, compared to my Nokia, uh, which are free and probably made not far from somewhere like this, you know, my Nokia came with my Nokia 7 Plus phone, and I have to say that the gains are much more well managed. Altogether, I have a more rounded kind of sound, uh, that this has some effect with the gains. I, I, I think the manufacturer needs to experiment a little bit more tweak this a bit more, especially with the gains. But the base, very nice base. But this is more of a well-rounded 5.1 Dolby stereo sound. This doesn't feel like that. It feels more like a beginner slash mm, kind of intermediate kind of uh, sound. But it doesn't compare to my Nokia 7 Plus Air earbuds, I have to admit. So it's not super high-end, but it's good quality enough for the price. So I'm gonna be very interested to test with the Oculus, as I mentioned before, because they triple the price as this, and it will be very see, very interesting to see whether the Oculus are gonna offer me three times the quality of these. But I will test these out for the next two, three weeks. I will use my Quest uh, about two, three hours every night, and hopefully a month from now, these will still be working and I don't need to change them. Because of the packaging is so, I mean, look, even the sticker is not properly put on the box. The sticker looks bad quality also, and the plastic was flimsy. I don't know whether these are going to last me a month. I really don't know. Uh, I'm, you know, skeptical. But if it was an Apple product, I know it would last me at least for a year, two years, even three or four years. Uh, so this is where I'm coming from. All right, without further ado, remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community, expand the community, get as many people into VR and help as many people into VR as possible because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy, DJ Q Music.